there's been a rumor that has surfaced regarding Darth Maul and his involvement in the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. So let's go ahead and dive right into this, guys. Welcome back to the Man of Bros channel. It's your boy, Big O Nuggets. And I want to dive into this article because there's been a lot of, like, people talking about Darth Maul and him possibly being in the Kenobi series. Again, this is just a rumor. I don't think there's been nothing officially confirmed. But let's go ahead and dive into this article and see what's going on. Well... The fall of Anakin Skywalker might have been the greatest impact on, on Obi-Wan Kenobi in the Star Wars films. The supplemental outings have firmly placed Darth Maul as his greatest rival. Hence the biggest meme in the animated series when, uh, when Darth Maul is going after uh, Kenobi and he just screams, Kenobi! That's like my favorite, favorite, favorite meme or gif uh, of Star Wars out there. Let me know if it's your favorite. Uh, a beloved character since his do debut and one of the mo and that plays a noticeable role in the story of Master Jedi, so many expected that he might be making an appearance in the upcoming Disney Plus series, the Obi Wan Kenobi. Fans who wanted to see the character return to the series will be disappointed as a new report is confirming that the Dathomorian warrior will be absent from the show. The report comes from Hollywood Reporter, which has sources telling him that Maul was meant to return as a key player in the series. With Ray Park, the actor who portrayed the character in the 1990s, The Phantom Menace, slatted to reprise his role, the series was paused in January 2020 after Lucasfilm apparently was apparently unhappy with the script penned by Hoisin Amini. I believe I pronounced that wrong. I apologize. Sources tell THR that the original uh, version of the story was Kenobi coming out of hiding to protect the young Luke Skywalker, with Maul being one of the villains set to pursue... The pair, it also said that the since-announced return of Darth Vader was not in the version of the script. The report says that Filoni and John Favreau looked over the version of the script and told Amini, the series showrunner, uh, Deborah Chow, to go bigger, voicing their concerns that the story of an aged Kenobi protecting a young Luke would be too similar to the relationship between Din and Grogu's uh, relationship in The Mandalorian. Eventually, these concerns made their way to Lucasfilm head Kathleen Kennedy, who put the whole project on hold. I mean, he left the project with uh, Jody Harrell being being brought on as the writer. After the overhaul, it said that Filoni was able to make it work out a way to get Vader to play a key role in the story with the Grand Inquisitor. All right, so damn. So this kind of ties back to our previous video. Guys, haven't checked it out? Go check it out. We talk about how they pretty much Grab the first script. So I'm assuming with these rumors, again, these are just rumors. There's still nothing officially confirmed that, you know, the first script was pretty much Maul uh, in pursuit of uh, young Luke and, of course, Obi-Wan. And I can kind of see why Filoni then would say, you know, we got pretty much, you know, Din and Grogu and we got uh, Obi-Wan and Luke, right? It's It kind of seems like it would fall into that similar, uh, similar relationship. And I think people would have pretty much complained about that too. So um, I'm honestly, I, I am kind of glad that Maul isn't the main villain for this, that they brought Vader back, Hayden Christensen. Um, I'm very happy that he's back to Star Wars and I'm glad he is the main villain uh, and the Grand Inquisitors and all the other Inquisitors coming in because I love them in Rebels. Uh, but pretty much e either way, like Maul coming in here at this point in time wouldn't fit with the timeline with Rebels unless they really just wanted to scrap all that and didn't care about the you know, the timeline, which I feel like they've been really sticking to from live action to animated series pretty well uh, throughout, uh, you know, what they've been upload, what, what they've been doing lately. So, uh, man, Maul, even though I would love to see a live action Maul, maybe maybe at the very end we could see Maul fighting Obi-Wan, maybe at the end or at least them encountering each other or something. But honestly, if you guys haven't seen Rebels or that final fight between Obi-Wan and Maul, I really feel like the animated series really did it justice. So if you guys haven't checked that out, check it out. Give it a chance. It's beautiful. I really think we've been given, like, Maul has been portrayed really well in the animated series. Uh, from Clone Wars, uh, all, you know, all the way to Rebels. Uh, you know, I feel like he has been portrayed, even though, like I said, I would love to see a live action. Who wouldn't want to see a live action Darth Maul again, especially if it's Ray Park coming back as Darth Maul. That, that would be beautiful. I mean, we saw him at the end of Solo uh, and we're like, oh, shit, there he is. Uh, you know, who wouldn't want to see him? But um, I, I'm sure I'm, I'm sure we'll see him eventually. There's been lots of rumors and lots of talk about another animated Maul series, maybe a live action. Who knows? But I'm kind of glad for the Kenobi series we're getting, you know, Obi-Wan and Vader. Because, honestly, if you ask me 
who hates Obi-Wan more than anybody? It's got to be Vader. And then, you know, Maul is like a, a close, close second. They're pretty much fighting for first place. But I know Vader has the most hatred uh, because he feels like Obi-Wan had betrayed him. You know, it may, uh, Vader thinks that, you know, Obi-Wan is the reason why Padme has died. And, you know, all this deceit and everything. Uh, I know Vader holds... Uh, holds the number one spot to hate Obi-Wan and wants to really kill him. And of course, Maul is right there, right there. So let me know your thoughts about this, guys. Uh, would you guys love to see, you know, uh, Darth Maul come back? Or is good that they didn't add him? And it's interesting to see that if this was the actual first script that was scrapped that we talked about from our previous video, I wonder if... Um, I wonder if that's what we're talking about. Again, this uh, this article clearly says that um, one source says that Maul was on the set pre-production and might have had some sh uh, shot scene and some claim that it might have been a simple test footage. This report is contradicted by other sources from Lucasfilm, however, who say that Maul was never set to return to the series. And talking about this, uh, I did see uh, a tweet pretty much go uh, out there regarding um, Pablo Hidalgo uh, which is a uh, Lucasfilm executive pretty much setting out a tweet talking about how it was all bullshit that Maul was never supposed to be or he was never going to be in the Kenobi series. So that's coming from a Lucasfilm executive. Like you see a, a lot of contradictory, a lot of articles coming out that Maul was supposed to be there. And now he's that he's not, you know, I guess we just got to see, wait and see once the series comes out May 24th. Let me know your thoughts, everybody. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more Star Wars news, everyone. And may the Force be with you, for this is the way. Thank you.